So the loop statement in Rust, what it does is it loops forever. Okay, so to use the loop expression, all you have to do is type in loop and then opening and closing uh, braces. Okay, once you do that, you can then let's say we're printing something into the console. Hello. And then when we run this code, sorry, we print that to the console, we print that to the terminal. And then we run this cargo run. We find out that it keeps typing in hello continuously forever and doesn't stop at all. Okay, let's just clear that out. So this is what loop does. Whenever you use it, whatever is inside this block will keep running forever and doesn't stop. So in order to show this uh, in a more clearer way, let's create a variable here and we'll call it a and then we we'll set it to zero. But we want to be able to change it in here. So we we'll make it mutable by adding mate to it. And it's going to be of type i32. Okay, so we now have these variables. So what we're going to do inside here is to increment uh, that value every single time this loop runs. So what we can do is a we increment it by one every single time. So remember that in Rust, you can't do something like this, just like you can do it in other languages. This doesn't exist in Rust. So if you want to create a val increment a value, you have to use the plus and equal to sign. So increment and add the value and assign the value to A. Okay, so whatever was in A, it will add one to it and then assign it to A back. Okay, so watch what will happen when we print this. And let's say we say A is equal to something. And then we provide A. Now when we run this code, cargo run, find out that it keeps on running and keeps on incrementing the value and keeps on printing it to the console. Now to stop this, just hit Control C to stop it. And see what has happened. All this while, it has incremented the value A and printed it to the terminal. 746,676 times so it's very fast and it continues to run until you stop it now what we can do here is to stop it at some point and that will bring me to the next uh, to the next thing I need to teach break statement so the question is since this loop statement runs continuously how do we stop it well it turns out that we can stop it by just typing in break so this is actually an expression in rust it's an expression because it returns a value i'm going to show you how that works uh, in a minute but for now once we use break right here we just stop this loop in fact we can just run it to see what it does now watch what will happen when we run cargo run again okay you find out that it says hello a is equal to zero only once and it stopped and that was because by the time it prints this and then get to this point this loop will stop because it will break this breaks that uh, expression will break the loop okay and then the question is why are we getting this error well rust is very smart it says value assigned to a is never used that was because we assigned this value to a and we did not use it so it's just a warning let's just disregard it for now okay so this shows that we can use the break expression to break any loop expression at any point. Okay, now we can do something even more interesting. We can use an if statement to stop this loop whenever the value of A goes, go, uh, grows more than 100. So we can do that by saying if A is greater than 100, then we break this statement. One very important thing to note to note about the break statement is that it breaks the loop it is directly inside of so this statement is directly inside this particular loop inside here so what it means is that it will break this particular loop i'm going to show you why in a minute 
okay but for now let's say we break this loop once the a value of a grows more than 100 we can see what happens here when we run this code you see we got to when a was equal to 100 and the loop stopped that was because this break statement only runs when a is greater than zero and therefore it will stop this loop which is directly inside of okay now let's clear that out let's say we this loop continues to run okay and we have another print statement down here okay say end of loop for example so if we run this we find out that for each single time we print out hello we also printed this end of loop okay now what if we don't want to print it at some point let's say we want a situation whereby if a is equal to 50 or if a is between 50 and 60 we don't want this to be printed or we don't want to do whatever we are doing down here what we can do is this we can use the continue statement so we can say if a is less than or is greater than 50 okay and then a is less than 60 we want to say continue this simply means whenever a is greater than 650 and it's also uh, less than 60 don't run all the code below this so if we have any other thing we're doing inside here stop stop right here and go to the beginning of the loop start the next loop okay and you can see that when we run this code i'll go run now when we run this code watch what happens here if you continue to scroll up till 50 find out that from 50 to 59 this part of the code down here where we printed end of loop never run okay it means whenever it gets to 50 this condition will be true a will not be greater than 50 because we incremented it here after printing it 50 here we incremented it therefore it will be 51 therefore a is now greater than 50 and it's also less than 60 so this continuous statement will prevent the code from getting to this point and therefore that was why the end of loop was not printed after 50 51 until after 59 okay therefore this continue will no longer run again so if you want some part of the let's clear this so if you want to stop the current execution of a loop okay and to go to the next execution we use continue however if you want to completely stop the loop okay you will use break statement like we do here once it gets to the 200 okay now let's talk about another feature of loop which is label let's say we have a loop here and this will go to explain how the break statement works okay that it breaks the only the loop it is directly inside of let's say we have a loop here okay and then we'll have another loop inside of it now outside here we have a variable a which we initialize to be which initialize to zero we want it to be mutable because we want to change it at some point it's going to be i32 by default okay now whenever we get inside this loop we increment a by one okay now inside this first loop again we have a variable called b we want it to be changeable so we say set said is going to be mutable and then it's going to be of type i32 and we initialize it to zero and then inside this inner loop every single time we get to this point we increment b by one okay so now this is what we have let's say we for the outer outer loop we print something to the console let's just say a is equal to this we print out whatever the value a has at that point then we do the same thing for b okay 
so here we say a is equal to this and then we we'll add comma and then say b is equal to something okay now watch what will happen when we run this code a few things that you need to notice here if we run this code right now you find out that let's just run it so you see what happens the code will keep running but if you stop that code you find out that all this while yb was incrementing at least at this point it was 200 and uh, something thousand a remained equal to one and this is what Frost was trying to warn us about you can see that if you hover over this even in the editor and scroll down to the error uh, part to say uh, unreachable statement and Rust is very very clever to notice that even if we uh, even though we are inside this particular loop we also we also have an infinite loop inside here which means once the code gets to this point this loop inside inner loop will continue to run forever and will not stop and therefore this part of the code will no longer run at each point okay so what we can do here is to stop this inner loop at some point in fact let's increment the inner loop by two every single time okay and then what we can do is to stop this inner loop every single time the b is greater than 10 and as you remember we can use the break statement you can just say break we want this to run whenever b is greater than 10 so what we can do is say if b is greater than 10 then we break the statement okay now if we run this code you can see that rust is no longer pointing out that this is this will be an unreachable code because it now realized that at some point this inner loop will break and therefore this will run but when we run this code find out let's see what will happen let's just clear the console first okay and we're going to stop it because it's running forever watch what happens b continues to grow from 2 since we are adding 2 every single time so it will be 2 4 6 once it gets to 12 it will reset however whenever it gets to 12 okay we find out that whenever it resets a will also reset and it will keep running but the loop is also running infinitely and that is because we never stopped break out of this outer loop okay so that is what we're going to do now let's say we say whenever a is greater than 20 we break okay now watch watch what happens this particular break statement will break the loop it is directly inside of however this particular break statement will break this outer loop because it's directly inside of it and therefore when we run this code a will continue to grow till 20 and then it will stop because the outer loop will be broken however b will only grow to 10 before it stops because the inner loop will be broken okay at that point so what what we're going to do is we save this and then clear our console and then run cargo run and once we do this we find out that once a grew bigger than 20 it stops right here okay and for each of those time b will grow from 2 to 12 and then it will stop because this break statement will break the inner loop right here okay now this is all good but the question is the problem here is this what if we want to break this loop this outer loop while we are inside the inner loop okay this is where another feature in rust comes in very handy and it is called the label expression what you can do in rust is this you can use a label so this outer loop that we've been calling all this while we can give it a label so that we can refer to it wherever we are and in order to give something a label you have to start with a single uh, quote and then you type in the name of the label so let's just we can call it anything we want let's just call it outer and then we add a column right here so now we've named this outer loop outer okay and then inside here 
you can then break this particular loop what that means is that we can now break this outer loop while we are inside this loop so previously we could only break this inner loop by doing it this way but we can't break this one since we are inside another loop but with the feature with this label feature we can easily break this outer loop so what will happen here is once this outer loop runs and this inner loop gets b gets uh, greater than 10 the outer loop will be broken so let's try it out see what happens here forget about this one for now i'm going to explain that you see that a remained equal to one okay why b incremented from 2 to 12 but immediately b got greater than 10 the outer loop stopped and therefore the inner loop stopped as well that means this worked so inside this inner loop we are able to stop the outer loop using the label of this outer loop and that was what we were able to do here and then the question is why did this inner loop stop as well well of course once we stop this outer loop the inner loop will no longer run again because it has to run for this for the code to get to this point okay so this is how you use label to break out of an outer loop while you are inside another loop in fact you can also add give this uh, another label you can call it inner okay so once you have a loop you can call it whatever you want and then you use the single quote and then you type in the name and then type in colon of course you see that it's warning us because we did not use it anywhere it's a uh, unused label so don't use a label don't provide a label unless you plan to use it another very important thing to notice here is that rust starts warning us here it says if you scroll down here you to say unreachable statement and this is another thing that rust does the compiler does that is very important okay it noticed that at some point we are breaking the outer loop okay which means at some point this part of the code will no longer run okay but it doesn't know exactly that we are doing that conditionally which means it will run at least once like we saw when we run that code so it's not much of a problem actually okay but what we can do is just watch what will happen if we remove this break statement if you remove this label breaking out of label and then save it you find out that what that one is gone because Rust will realize that this break statement will only break this inner loop therefore this code will always run okay as long as the outer loop runs but immediately we break the outer loop okay it starts panicking but that's not much of a problem anyway okay so now that we've seen that if you notice very clearly we've been saying all this while that the loop the loop expression is actually an expression that is why it's called a loop expression and in rust all expressions are able to return a value okay they are able to perform some computation and also return a value so let me show you what that means so here we have a loop so loops are also expressions you can see all, uh, you can see that all this while we've been calling it a loop expression and that means it returns some value let's say we have a loop like this and then we say break 55 in rust when you break out of a, st of a loop you can also return a value with that break statement and that is exactly what we are doing here we are saying once this loop runs break from it and then return 55 let's say we store that inside a variable of i32 and then we set it to this now all of a sudden this loop is now returning a value which we've stored inside this a okay now if we print that to the console if we print that to the terminal we get a will be equal to a and then once we run that code
you find out that it says a is equal to 55 so essentially this loop expression was able to return this value after it after we used break okay so break will return 55 and then we bind it to bind a to the value that was returned this is this explains why a loop is also an expression because we can return a value from it by breaking out of that value and then returning a value from 